Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia, with the Life in the Spirit Study Bible. This came out probably 25 years ago as the Full Life Study Bible. A lot of you may have it. They, they've revised it somewhat. Uh, of course, the graphics are better. Probably do, Lord willing, a review on the Full Life possibly at some point. But uh, the Life in the Spirit Study Bible. This is just really well done. It's one of the prettiest study Bibles out there as far as the graphics are concerned on the outside. I mean, because it's written, it's for Pentecostals. It's for people that believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, I'm apostolic, and I know of several apostolics that think this is the best Pentecostal study Bible out there. Better than the Apostolic Study Bible, better than the Thompson Chain Reference with the Word of Flame Press notes in it, they would say that this is the very best one out there. So it's put out by Zondervan. So let's take a look on the inside of this. The presentation page, I think, is highly classy. I mean just massively classy. Fantastic presentation page. I did want to also show you what this Bible looks like without the slip cover. A lot of people take the slip covers off and like kind of put them somewhere. So you could do that with this Bible. It, it looks good enough to do that. And also, it has one of the better chronology. Because it's not only got scriptural chronology, but it's got several of the major countries, the chronology found at the bottom as well, and how they're simultaneous with what's going on in scripture. So if you're a history buff like me, you really like stuff like that. It stands out. This is good glossy paper, Old Testament chronology, New Testament chronology. It's going to take you all the way through the different Roman emperors and that type of thing. So let's really get into the life in the spirit study Bible. Now the general editor is Donald C. Stamps. He died of cancer at the age of 52, I think, in 1991. And uh, then the associate editor is John Wesley Adams. Now, John Wesley Adams has a Ph.D. in New Testament Studies from Baylor University. He has been a quadriplegic from the time he was 16. And he's written eight books. He's been to 13 countries preaching and teaching and ministering. And that's just a good thing. So they dedicate the book to Donald C. Stamps. It's got a content of the article. You can see the voluminous amount of articles, maps, and charts here. Just an amazing amount. Besides commentary, besides things written, uh, you know, in the front, in book introductions, things in the back. So it's just got a lot there. Now, Donald Stamps, November 1991, before he died, listen to this. This is one thing I really appreciate about this Bible. The author and editor's royalty from the KJV Life and the Spirit Study Bible will go entirely to missions for the translating and printing of additional copies of the KJV Life and the Spirit Study Bible in foreign languages. So they had a passion for God. It says, the vision and call and urgency from God for this study Bible came to me while serving as a missionary in Brazil. I realized how much Christian workers needed a Bible that would give them direction in their thinking and their preaching. So it, it gives, oh, how do we want to do this? Let's just, we'll give you another little look here of things you're going to find in the Life in the Spirit Study Bible. This is still one of the best-selling study Bibles in the United States of America. Right here. It is just outstanding. So you're going to have, it's going to have different symbols in there, that type thing. So let's let you take a look at what's in here. Now another fascinating thing, 
It's got the preface to the 1873 Frederick Henry Ambrose edition of the King James Version, which we know is the paragraph uh, KJV. So that's fascinating. FHA Scribner tried to uh, update the Blaney 1769 Second Folio Edition, and by most measures he failed. But he, he was still a big, strong believer in uh, the Textus Receptus and this type of thing for the most part. So you get to Genesis, it's going to give you a great outline for the book of Genesis. You're going to be able to see that. ends into a second page, and then all of the synopsis, like the background, the purpose, and then it's going to have a place for you to write notes in the introduction. So that's just kind of cool as well. And then you can see it's going to have like word studies as you go, a ton of commentary, center column reference. So this is a Bible that, you know, it's got hundreds of thousands of words of commentary and notes in there. And it's going to be coming from a spirit field, a Pentecostal perspective. You know, people getting the Holy Ghost, gifts of the Spirit, healing, uh, typology, this type of thing. Psalms has done really well. So let's get to the New Testament. It is in red letter. I would say the print is probably a nine and a half point print. The red letter is a uh, decently readable red letter. It's not, uh, it's not as bad as some, and it's not as good as some as I've seen. But it is a functional red letter system. So like you get over here to uh, like 1 Corinthians, obviously it's going to go into a lot of things of the gifts of the Spirit. You can see how many, how much notes that that has compared to Scripture and the gifts of the Spirit. So it's kind of good to have a, a Pentecostal leaning study Bible, even though it's not exclusively apostolic or oneness. And then when you get to the back, another thing I really liked about this is it had red letter and revelation. And then it goes into like prophecy, the last days of history. Before you get to the book of Revelation, it's, it's very well done. The last days of history, extremely well done. And then you get into the book of Revelation. And again, it gives you places to write in there. And then when you get to uh, the back, it's got a very a fantastic subject index in the back. I really like that subject index. Just extremely well done. Because some people don't know a word, but they know the subject, like persecution because of righteousness. The word may not be there. Selfish ambition, spiritual separation, these type things. And then it's got a theme finder index, gifts of the Holy Spirit. You know, has a lot of things baptized in and filled with the Spirit has tons of scripture on that. The fruit of the Spirit. Victory over Satan and demons. The second coming. Salvation. Witnessing. Faith that moves mountains. Healing. So that's kind of cool too. It has a way. I've never seen this to my remembrance of another Bible. How to read the Bible through in a year. It just lists the chapters and kind of lets you divide them out yourself in a certain way, like you would circle it. So I've never seen that in another Bible. And then a good concordant, very small print in the concordant. And then you're going to get back here to the map section. We'll show you some maps. It's got the little gazetter. Be 
beautiful color maps. Like this is a two page map. You can see. Appreciate Brother Mallory zooming in and out here. Does a great job on that. Of course, it doesn't have the nation of Israel coming through the Red Sea. What map does? We need to make maps like that. There's some maps out there that do. And then just one blank page in the back, and that helps the spine. So the Life of the Spirit Study Bible um, is given the proceeds for the translation and the propagation of this Bible around the world. Uh, it's going to come from a Pentecostal perspective, a healing, that God is imminent, that God works in the world today. And I, again, I, I know many people that feel like this is the best Bible that is out there. So, I did want to do, we got Christmas coming up. You might want to get one, give, give them out as gifts at Christmas time. You may want to just get it for yourself personally, have in your library. Or you just might want to read the contents of the book. That's the best thing. Read the Bible. But uh, I pray you're blessed as you study the journey of His Word. God bless you today.